I teach uh, geomorphology, uh, which is um, the study of how landscapes develop and their, their overall morphology. Um, so the courses I teach include um, things like, uh, or they include uh, questions like how do mountains form, uh, how do rivers cut valleys, um, how do coastlines uh, form. Um, and so it's sort of an, uh, an overall understanding of how landscapes uh, develop through time. Um, and my main focus is on trying to understand uh, the dynamics of sand bedded uh, river systems, uh, like the one that passes through uh, Vancouver here, uh, the Fraser River. The overall goal of my research is really to produce um, predictive models that um, tell us about how rivers are, are evolving through time. An associated goal is uh, how rivers flood um, and how riverbed. Um, riverbeds evolve through time and as they evolve they affect the um, level of uh, water uh, during floods. We're studying how rivers move um, and when rivers start moving of course they start impinging on infrastructure and um, bridges and people's uh, property. Um, and so trying to understand some of the processes behind that uh, allows us to um, make some contribution to discussions about how to mitigate those effects. I don't think there's a lot of other universities that have programs um, that are entirely focused on environmental um, issues, whether they be environmental science or uh, societal impacts of um, climate change and these kinds of issues. Uh, I think for the first time um, you've got uh, this sort of large group of people who are all working on environmental problems um, from sort of the, you know, trying to understand the physical science associated with environmental problems, trying to understand um, some, some of the uh, societal implications of um, some of the environmental problems we face. And having them all in one faculty uh, provides a venue for everybody to interact, which I think is really quite useful.